Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Minds and Machines 2017. Please welcome to the stage President and CEO of New York Power Authority, Gil Quinones. Good morning. My name is Gil Quinones. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and President of the New York Power Authority, also known as NIPA. I'm so excited to be here today to tell you about our journey of becoming the first, I repeat, the first digital utility in the United States. But, <laughs> but before I take you on that journey, allow me to tell you a little bit about NIPA. NIPA is the largest state-owned electric utility in the United States. 75% of the power that we produce comes from very large hydroelectric power plants, such as our Niagara Power Project, which is 2,700 megawatts. We also own about one-third of the high-voltage transmission system in our state. Think of it as the backbone of New York. And together with our large hydroelectric power plants, the shock absorber of the system. And that's very important because as we integrate more and more renewables in New York to hit our target of producing electricity, 50% of our electricity from renewable energy by 2030, our hydroelectric power, this shock absorber, is really critical. Now, the electrons that propel our subways, 600 miles of subway tracks and airports in New York City, that's NIPA. The electrons that power our manufacturing plants and industries across New York State, that's NIPA. The electrons that serve 51 municipal and community-owned utilities all across New York State, that's NIPA. More recently, the utility that sent 22 of its experts to Puerto Rico a day and a half after Maria landed in Puerto Rico. And by the way, they're still there. They're helping. Thank you. They're assessing 350 substations, about a dozen power plants, helping out troubleshooting, restarting power plants, and placing back transmission systems in service. I'm very, very proud of them. I was there last weekend. And yes, that is NIPA. So you might think, you know, we are in this great GE Minds and Machine conference, and you're wondering, why is digital technology a, cent a centerpiece or a cornerstone of NIPA's strategy? There are three major trends that are disrupting the electric utility. Decentralization, electrification, and digitization. This power grid that we know today, one-way power flow from power plants, transmission system, distribution, customers, that is completely being disrupted. And the grid is becoming more decentralized, multi-flow, intelligent energy network. That's what's happening in the utility industry, and it's happening very, very fast. Second is electrification. Because of technology innovation, many of our processes are being electrified to increase energy productivity and to decarbonize every sector of our economy. And both the trends, decentralization and electrification, is being enabled, it's being accelerated by digitization. And these three trends, decentralization, electrification, and digitization, is 
really pushing and accelerating the transformation and the disruption in the utility sector. Now, in New York, we want to make sure that that transformation includes and reaches everyone. We cannot create a new set of energy haves and have-nots. So as we are embracing digital technology in New York, as we are reforming the energy vision, we are laser focused on achieving one goal as we create this decentralized intelligent energy network. And that is to significantly improve the capacity utilization of the power grid, to significantly improve the system efficiency of the power grid. And that can only be accomplished through digitization. Now, why is that important? It is important because it is not sufficient to have an intelligent, safe, reliable, and clean energy grid. It must be affordable. It must provide access. It must provide opportunities for all. In New York, as we make our choices, policy choices, regulatory choices, legislative choices, we embrace the principle. If it's not for all, then it's not for us. So what do I mean when I say end-to-end -end digital utility? First, it has to be end-to-end. -end. Every sector of the value chain or every part of the value chain of the utility must be digitized inside and out. But more importantly, a digital utility places the customer at the center of the transformation. A digital utility innovates. A digital utility creates new business models and transforms the customer experience. A digital utility measures its success based on the success of its customers. At NIPA, that's what we mean when we say end-to-end -end digital utility. Now, let me brag a little bit about of the cool and amazing things we're starting to build at the New York Power Authority. We're building three digital hubs. First, what we're calling New York Energy Manager. New York Energy Manager is a digital service, energy service to our customers, where we're digitizing, creating digital twins of the energy systems of the buildings and facilities of our customers. We have about 10,000 buildings, and we've created 10,000 digital twins of those buildings in New York State. And we're looking to scale that up to 20,000 buildings by 2020. Exciting stuff. We've never had, had it as close a working relationship with our customer before this service. And we're just discovering and co-discovering things with our customers in this journey. The second digital hub that we're building at NIPA is called the Integrated Smart Operations Center. Here, we're creating digital twins of our power plants, our substations, our transmission lines to radically improve their operational efficiency and also to monitor the health of those assets real time, all the time. It is also the place where we will monitor our cybersecurity, physical security, our dedicated communications network and portfolio of strategic software in a place that we can instantly convert to be our emergency operations center if we need it. This is a first of its kind anywhere. 
our integrated smart operations center. Inside this center, we will build our third digital hub. It's called the Advanced Grid Innovation Lab for Energy. And in that lab, we will digitize in very granular way, very dynamic way, the entire grid of New York State, starting with the generation and transmission system. We're going to be working, aside from working with GE, we're going to be working with all of the utilities in New York State and our independent system operator. And we're doing this to really accelerate the transformation from having this central one-way power flow grid to a decentralized intelligent energy network. Now, there will be a unique and one common characteristic amongst all three digital hubs. They will also serve as digital foundries or place, places where our partners, technology companies, people from universities, other utilities, original equipment manufacturers will come, use our data, use our platform to further innovate and to create new products and services and solutions for all kinds of customers and really create an innovation ecosystem from an energy perspective in New York. Now, why New York? Well, for NIPA and for GE, this story is really about coming back to our roots, hearkening us back to where it all began in New York. And, you know, Thomas Edison in 1882 built the first power plant in lower Manhattan along Pearl Street. And Nikola Tesla enabled long distance transformation, transmission, I'm sorry, of electricity 22 miles from Niagara Falls to Buffalo. So it is really a story about our roots, GE and NIPA partnering again and creating this digital utility and having this unique opportunity, I would say an opportunity of, the life, of a lifetime to reimagine and reinvent this power grid that we know today into a digitized intelligent energy network of the future for the benefit of all. So I call upon all of you, help us write the story, collaborate with us, partner with us, hop on this journey, because I guarantee to each and every one of you that it will be an amazing and hell of a ride. Thank you. A Series 3 locomotive calculates its ideal speed using an onboard wireless data center. A single wind turbine contains over 150 onboard sensors that operate in 150 mile per hour winds. One jet engine contains 12,124 individual components, generating 10 gigabytes of data per second. In this data, most would see an engine that should be serviced every 30 days. We see an engine that should be serviced based on where it will fly next. A turbine that predicts power demand based on the weather. And a locomotive that understands how it will operate decades from now. We work in the places this data comes from, design the machines that generate it, and build the applications that unlock outcomes for industry. 960 partners, 33,000 developers, 80,000 industrial engineers, hundreds of thousands of assets under management. On one application platform designed for industry. Predicts.
Now is the time for digital industrial transformation. Transform your industry.